synapse. And the synapse makes sure that when there comes, a, you know, this is a an electrical signal, and it is transmitted at the synapse, greenish, poisonous green, that must be chemistry. So there is a chemical transmission of an electrical signal at a synapse. Every neuron comes with about 10,000 synapses on it, and the number of neurons in your brain is 100 billion. So the number of synapses in your brain is 10,000 times 100 billion. That gives you a million billion synapses in your brain. That's a fact. Okay. When I was young and a medical student, and in, in my first year of training, we had biology, and we learned what, what now school kids learn in 12th grade, that is how synapses work. This is now school matter. Okay, I had to learn this at the university, and so we learned this, and then I had this one pressing question, and the question was, well, you know, chemistry takes energy and time. So the, the whole transmission would be would cost less energy and would be faster, so it would be more efficient if there wasn't all this chemistry, if the, if the fiber just went through. So what is a synapse for? Okay, and I asked this to my professor. What is a synapse for? It is slow and energy con con consumptive, so it's less efficient to have a synapse. The answer 40 years back, shut up. Really? And, and uh, his answer was, well, he didn't know the answer. Nobody back then knew the answer, so he was a bit uneasy with the question. And um, it wasn't his fault. Back then, 40 years ago, there were ideas what synapses are for, but we simply did not know. And it's the biggest thing in neuroscience by far that over the last 40 years we have learned what synapses are for. And just to give you a brief idea, this came out in 1999. A, a, a group in Switzerland did this, and they published this in Nature, a high-power science journal. What you can see here are two synapses. Well, a bit lengthy. Um, this one, a lot of signals travel through, and over this one, only a few signals travel through. This is why this looks like it looks. It's bigger. An extra spine has grown. So from this work, they could look at the traffic, the electricity first, and then make a picture. That was tough. But 1999, it was achieved. And they could show that whenever a synapse is used, it grows. Okay? So the brain changes when its components are used. Fast forward 10 years, another nature paper, and we are looking at tiny bit of a neuron. So you're looking at one of those branches, okay? And, and they managed not just to kill the animal and, 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 and make the neurons visible. No, they had it in a living animal. So they drilled a hole, got rid of all the, the membranes, etc. Then they put dye in, the, in, the neur in several neurons of a living animal. And then they made a picture. And then they waited four days and took another picture. And then they waited another four days and took yet another picture. And what you can see, by the way, you don't see the connecting fibers. You only see the bulbs where the connection is going on, okay? The fiber is not filled with dye, so you don't see it. But you have to imagine, for every bump here, fibers coming in. Okay, what you do see, and the authors made it easy for us to see, uh, that there are changes. In fact, a red arrow implies that there's now a connection that hadn't been there. And the blue arrow implies that there was a connection and it's gone. So you can easily see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight arrows. That is, there has been things added and things have been removed within eight days. In fact, eight errors, so that gives you one change per day. At one, at a single neuron, in fact, a part of a single neuron. So how many neurons did you have in your brain? 100 billion. That gives you a rough idea about the changes going on in your brain now. 100 billion per day. Why? 